So, um, good morning. So, last time we uh, talked about the installation of uh, Jitsu and um, how to use JWT token authentication. And I've shared this uh, tutorial that I've got on um, this guy from GitHub. And uh, we follow these uh, steps on how to uh, successfully enable um, JWT authentication in um, the Jetsy Meet um, software in the server. So as you can see, or as you have seen in the previous tutorial, there's a bit of manual um, settings that uh, we did. Uh, we wrapped this up in a uh, shell scripts um, that uh, was uh, executed automatically. However, uh, these changes on the settings we have to do manually and um, yeah that took a bit of time and uh, we might get some errors along the way so uh, what I did for um, better um, automation on this one is I've created uh, an Ansible playbook for this uh, type of um, installation to install Jetsy Meet and enable a JWT authentication at the same time. So this is the, um, the Ansible role that I have created. Um, this is very simple. There's just um, a series of steps that that uh, is exactly what we did on on the, um, that that what we did here. So all the steps that are done here, I uh, just make a, a task list in um, in Ansible, uh, and that's what I put in the Ansible um, playbook. So the the good thing about using Ansible is that um, once you have set up the task, it is um, automated. So um, once you have it. Um, all you need to do is to run the Ansible role and um, the only thing for this Ansible role that we need to do is to specify the um, the IP address or the domain name of your uh, server where that you want to uh, connect to and apply um, all the settings so here uh, I specify the SSH user and the password that to be used in um, uh, sorry not the SSH user but the user um, on the system and uh, the sudo password that will be used. Um, you can remove this and just manually uh, input it when you run Ansible Playbook. You can learn more on how to use Ansible Playbook uh, on their website or uh, this is their website ansible.com and you can also search more uh, tutorials on uh, in YouTube for that so um, yeah let's get started I've uh, already uploaded the, um, the Ansible um, playbook here you can just clone this and download it so after you um, clone this um, repo, you would have something like this. So if you're going to go on tree, you can see the contents of all the settings. So um, yeah, you configure your uh, host and once it's done, you can just test it uh, to make sure that uh, you're able to connect into your server so to do that just run ansible and then get the module called ping and run it for your server um, the default server name there is jitsi so just uh, if you go to your host this is the server group or name and uh, that's what we're using here so what we're telling ansible is um, run the Ansible uh, command and uh, run this module ping and execute it on this server or host. So if I press enter, it would um, connect to the server and it would give us um, 
success or fail success if it's able to connect and do the ping and it, it ping back that means that uh, we're able to successfully um, connect to the server so the next thing that we need to do is to run the playbook so um, we're just gonna run ansible dash playbook and then the name of our playbook which is jitsi.yaml uh, and that's it we press enter and it will do the rest so um, yeah as you can see it's just going through all of the the steps that um, that was that we got from this tutorial and uh, all we need to do is to run that um, single line of command so you can see how this is going to be very useful if you are managing uh, multiple um, websites or servers if you wanted to run um, Jitsi in um, or if you want to deploy Jitsi into multiple um, machines you can do this um, it's, it's pretty much automated by the end of this we have a server that's ready um, for Jitsi meet um, using the JWT token authorization so we'll just gonna wait for this to complete it's it's gonna run quite a bit and um, yeah so yeah we'll, we'll just wait for it to complete the speed will depend on the, the server that you're uh, running this so if the server is um, it's, it has it's, it's a high capacity uh, server if its processor is fast and its network is fast it's it's gonna go faster but um, it's gonna be the same thing it's gonna go through all the, the steps as if you're uh, you're there on the machine as if you're logged in and performing all the steps yourselves now the good thing about this um, this um, Ansible is that it's fully automated um, automated that means that um, for packages that would prompt you for uh, user input you can uh, manually set um, uh, predefined replies so for example uh, for this one for the Jitsi meet token um, package it will ask you for the host name the app ID and the, the app secret and um, for that we already pre-configured the reply so uh, when we run the, uh, the install Jitsi meet token um, it will uh, run it and when it gets to the part where it would ask for a uh, certain input from you then you already have um, the free pre-configured uh, settings so it's everything's going to be automated uh, the same thing with changing on the settings on the configuration you have different modules that are available so it's pretty straightforward uh, like this one this is using the apt module to install this um, this package now the good thing about the um, Jitsi I mean sorry the Ansible uh, program is that it will uh, check if this package is already installed and if it's not then it will install it for you but if it's already installed then it would skip it uh, meaning if we encounter some error along the way we can fix it and then run Jitsi uh, sorry you run the Ansible program once again and then um, when you run that it will skip those parts that are already completed so for example um, just some new tokens if this package or is already installed then it's gonna skip that portion um, and uh, if this block of file uh, block uh, in file is already inserted it's already present in the file then it will not um, add it into the file 
it would skip that part so it will be faster um, it would make the life of the um, system admin uh, very much easier because you can see um, everything's automated you can read more there's really cool uh, tutorial or documentation in Ansible you can see um, example playbooks and their um, Ansible Galaxy uh, a lot of users are already using Ansible and they're sharing their playbooks for certain uh, specific tasks if you want to install a web server um, if you want to install a, a database server and so on you can use this kind and I've also uh, seen a video um, on, in YouTube that is using Ansible for network administration. So this has, um, let me see, modules that is specific for networking. So for um, advanced, um, advanced type of um, routers and networking devices like um, Cisco routers um, with Cisco iOS device and OS, uh, router OS, and then those things. There's um, tools or modules that you can use for that. So let's see what they have for a network module. So I'm not really familiar with these things, but as you can see, there's a lot of support for network tools. Um, OS, um, I think there these are router types of router OS that you can that is available there for um, enterprise type of routers. So you can see they have extensive support for this. Um, and let me see. And the modules uh, listing, there's a lot of modules available as well. There's modules for file manipulation, uh, packaging, different um, package managers are available here. Um, and there's specific language uh, package managers for Composer, uh, Bower, um, Python Easy Install, PIP, Yarn, um, NPM for Node, and for operating system, there's also um, apt um, so there's RPM flat pack uh, I think there's also snap and uh, Pacman for arch um, operating system yum for uh, Red Hat San OS uh, Fedora operating system um, there's port edge for again to port install even for FreeBSD types of operating system so there's really a lot you can do with Ansible. Now, let's, uh, yeah, this one shows that we're already um, good to go with our um, installation. So let's test it out. Let's go to this box. So I'm running this on the virtual box in my local network. So it does not have an SSL, but you can also uh, include that um, here uh, let's see so the token is already the JWT token is already enabled and as you can see right now uh, since we did not input a token it's it's telling us to wait for the host to log in so I've created um, this um, payload for our JWT token um, on JWTRIO, you can manually create a token to use. Uh, this one, I'm just going to change the, the room name. Uh, I've already indicated the app ID and the app secret here. So all we need to do is to to copy the or change the room name and then copy the generated token. And um, let's see, this is how we do it. JWT equals and enter. So 
So as you can see, now we're able to log in as moderator. Now if we're gonna have another user join in without a token, since the host is already there, it should allow this uh, participant to join in without yeah without entering a token so this participant uh, that uh, joined did not enter a, J a valid JWT token so um, he is just a regular participant it does not have moderator rights only the the user or the host that entered a a JW a valid JWT token was able to uh, connect and was granted moderator rights. So let me just end this, close it, this one as well, and um, that's it. So I'm just gonna share this um, this Ansible role uh, in my GitHub page, and you can use it. Uh, on your end and let me know if you have questions. Thank you.